Relocated now to St. Francis's Folly, new temptations torment me. Rumor amongst a few brothers is that entombed beneath our monastery is the body of Tiokan, one of the three legendary rulers of the lost continent Atlantis, and that with him lies his piece of the Atlantean Skion, a pendant divided and shared between the three rulers, which curbs tremendous powers. Powers beyond the creator himself. My toes sweat at such possibilities, lying so close to my mortal self. Each night, I beat myself rid of these fantasies, but it is indeed a test. Pierre, you little bug. Hello, and welcome to the Sorcerer's Den playthrough of Tomb Raider 1. This is Level 5, St. Francis Folly. This is one of the more complex levels in the game. That in order to access the sections beyond this, we need to unlock a large door that has uh, four keys in four different rooms in a very massive and well-designed level. The intricacy of getting into the secrets itself in this is uh, overwhelming in a way, depending on how you view it. I'm going to save at this point just because. It definitely didn't do something right. Let's try flipping these switches again. Because something should reopen that door. Normally it's supposed to be one of these two switches that uh, will reopen that door. And I keep running into the wall by accident. Okay. Now that we've done that and we've successfully reopened the door, I'm going to save again just for safety. Only because this level is extremely complex and... This guy, who happens to be a pain in the ass, who just won't die. And luckily... I got him to uh, disappear faster than uh, my last playthrough of this because my old version I think was glitched in some way it took me quite some time to actually make him want to run away oops I just screwed that um, normally that's not how that is done uh, normally Right like that. There we go. Okay. Now then, we have multiple things, and Laura, you're not supposed to do that. Um, when the walk button is held down, you're not supposed to walk. Same thing with the look button, Laura. When the look button is held down, you are not supposed to walk. You are supposed to look. Laura, fucking obey. Okay. Now then, distance is two blocks, so she should land right on it. Okay. Now then, in here we have a secret.
unless I do it the right way. So let's. And this next secret is just as hair-raising and difficult to enter as the previous one can be. So I'm going to save once again. Because the goal here is to slide down a very large slider. It's a hair-raising level, <laughs> to say the least. And you haven't seen the all of it yet, because that's still to come. And another secret. Secrets upon secrets upon secrets. This level is one big secret. Okay, now then, back to the water. Staying away from it. Forward, forward, forward before that comes down here. Okay. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, one of these two ends. That is a set of stairs that we need to climb up to the main level. And we will be uh, thusly very quickly here performing the next and final secret entry, which this is just as hair raising as the other secrets, if not more so. But let's, if you're afraid of heights, look away. Holy cow, that camera does not want to cooperate. There we go. Um, there's the ground all the way down there. That is a long way down. We are about four or five stories up in the air. Give or take, plus or minus. I would say five stories because there are four rooms all up above the base floor and we have to uh, traverse this little maze of things. Okay, now then, one of our goals along the way is to open the doors to each one of the deity's rooms. There we got Thor open. But here is the beginning of that one secret. So let's get lined up. This is an extremely dangerous secret. This is uh, a secret that will get her killed if we do not perform this correctly. So saving is paramount here, if you ask me. Now that we have our level saved, blah blah blah, yakety schmackety.
And it is a decent secret, but it is dangerous to enter. And I believe that's everything that was in there was those two items. But that is the large door and the four keyholes. That has Atlas open. Because we have Thor, Neptune, Atlas, and Domacles. If everybody will recall their ancient studies. They will recall who these individuals are. And for safety's sake, I'm going to save after performing all of that. Now that we have that room open, we can continue on. You'll see up here. That we have a hidden health kit on top of Damocles. I usually prefer to grab that on the way up. That way I don't forget that it exists. Because it is very easy with the complexity of this level design to uh, forget things of that sort. Okay, we got the Thor room there. And because the height of this level is such that it is, uh, it's recommended to be careful and save often, especially after performing important tasks. Uh, as you've noticed, I've already saved the most out of any of the levels I've done so far in this playthrough, just because the complexity of this level requires it and it's so easy to accidentally fall. And as you probably saw out of the corner of your eye, this right here, forget this real quick, flip around, shoot the bats, or bat, then we should be able to safely make it back over there. Not exactly sure why when I hit the camera button today, it seems to be doing a jittery, glitchy thing, but that is how things happen sometimes with video games. Sometimes it's beyond our individual controls. So let's see, I'm going to go this way, because I think we need to go up at least one or two more floors. And I just heard a bat, and holy crap, we just got very close to death. Where is it? Where are you, bat? Okay, you want to be that much of a pain? We're just going to go over here. And there you are. And that takes care of all the bats. And we already pulled that switch before performing the secret. So all of our individual uh, rooms to all of our, our individuals should now be open.
And there is nothing over here, but I just wanted to come over here and show you. The level design is definitely superior for its time of day or time of history. And it's just simply splendid, if you ask me. Given that this is as old as it is from 1996, this game is splendid still. And I'm going to play it safe, in my opinion. Uh, I think we can safely drop down like that to access our next room. As you see on that deck, there is no room, so this is actually uh, taller than uh, five. But just to be safe, we are going to save. Sorry, mystery, if I don't have any bananas. Oh, stay away from my face. I need my face. My face is my face. Uh, eek, it's a boulder. I'm going to be killed. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Eek, it's a boulder. I'm going to be killed. Uh, okay. Uh, I think the only reason why they added those was um, one of the top films, one of the top rated Hollywood films of the day was the Indiana Jones series and he was in many ways the epitome of tomb raiding. He was the icon of tomb raiding. And I think because of that injury, I may or may not end up having to utilize um, a healing item at some point here, especially because of the Thor room. Uh, and the fact we have tigers. I heard tigers. But I think we should attempt the Thor room first. Uh, let's see if we can attempt it and live. If I can get in and out, I will then use health. Um, but the Thor room can be quite dangerous. I will probably die here. And in my opinion, I think I may utilize healing agent because our health is extremely low. I'm going to use a large health kit, or I could just use a small health kit. 
I'm gonna go with a lurch. <sighs> My main goal was to attempt to be on this platform as the music ended, but I kind of flubbed a little as I perfect my particular thoughts on how things should function for this room for speed's sake. She did not jump the way I wanted her to, because she should have landed on top of that. Okay, now then. Okay, we're not too bad on health. I should be able to complete the necessary tasks at hand. high for being able to target them correctly. Need to go down a level or two. And here we are at the final room, technically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rush over here. See if I can't take them out. Because we have more than just them to deal with. As you can see, we also have Pierre who has shown up again. Okay, we got at least one of the... Okay, we got at least one of the tigers, the two lions or ti uh, tigers. Um, trying to get an angle and a view on things so I can tell what's going on. But the camera is not cooperating, it's just changing on its own. Okay. They're playing with the uh, secret. Okay, this is taking too long. Turn more. And I think I thusly made him disappear. Which is a good thing, because I think we can complete this with only having to use that one health kit. Now that we've gotten him to leave, all we need to do is get the fourth and final key. Because we should have three keys up here, as we've seen. Along with our current piece of the skion, the Atlantean skion. Now we just need the final key. And it's entirely up to the player as to when and how they deal with uh, that particular individual. And Damocles was a swordsman. And those shadows are his swords. And by taking his key, we thusly activate a sequence of events that is unknown. But if we are careful, they will not target us. 
They will get close, but they will not injure us if we are careful. So, walk, do not run, out of this room. Being mindful of where the shadows are. Because these shadows will come and try and remove our faces. Because that just happens to be nine times out of ten where we happen to be aimed. But, as stated, if one is careful, one can carefully, you can see that there, can carefully traverse the room. That one ended up in the pillar. You can tell they're definitely controlled by a deity if they end up inside solid objects. Uh, we cannot get past that. And I don't want to jump forward because if I do, I could stumble blindly into a spot where we would get hit by one of Damocles' swords. There's one right in front of us. Let's try to get that one to fall so that we can... Uh... Oh, two of them. One off to our right, too. Try to get around here. We're almost out of the room. We have only one sword left. And then we can... Oh, two swords. Almost got us. And we are safe. So let us rush to our exit because we can now leave safely. And even though they're kind enough to give us stairs, we can just do that. It's time saving, if you ask me. No. Okay. That's a silverish, so we'll do that. Each one's kind of color coded in a manner of speaking. This one's kind of gold. So let's uh, look here. Gold like. Platinum slash copper. And then, of course, the last one. And thusly concludes St. Francis Folly. Done in excellent time, I believe. Thank you for tuning in. This is Sorcerer Von Croy for the Sorcerer's Den, signing out.